the biggest miracle of Quran is that it has been memorized in the people's heart. Everyone, little child can rattle it off. Maybe he doesn't understand. But the point is, memorization, you eradicate whole of the parchment of the Quran. You cannot eradicate from the hearts of the people. Prophet says, I'm leaving the book with you, the book which cannot be eradicated through water. And Quran says itself, Allah says, that we have kept this book in the, into the hearts of the people, Sadur. Can't you see this is the standing miracle? And then Quran gives the test. And he places Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 21, 22. Then Surah the Yunus chapter 10, verse number 34 to 38. Then Surah Al-Hud, the next chapter after chapter 11, verse number 13. Then Surah Al-Isra chapter 18. Onwards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep giving, keeps giving the challenges after challenges. But he stops at Surah Al-Baqarah. He says that you can never produce or you'll never be able to produce something like of Quran. Do it. You can't. If you cannot produce anything like of the Quran, then what is the answer? Allah gives the answer that وَإِن لَمْ تَفَعَلُوا وَلَمْ تَفَعَلُوا فَاتَّقُوا النَّارَ الَّتِي بَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ رُعِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Allah says that do it, create something, replicate it. If you are unable to do it, then ready, be ready for the hellfire whose fuel is men and stones, prepared for the disbelievers. Challenges there, either accept Quran, or then produce something like of it. Either way, you have to do something. You have to let the camel to sit either one of the sides. You cannot just let it happen, keep standing, that's all. Either go to left or go to right. But if you want to be a middle monkey, there is no salvation for you. This is but pure message from Quran. If you hear the name of Prophet Muhammad you have to believe in him.